Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in the very serious sounding, Why Pizza? Why? But this was developed by Marginal Act, published by Sometimes You, and as usual is available for just £4.19. This does release on the 22nd of June 2022 by the way. So this game plays as a puzzle, sort of platformer physics based game in which we, a pizza head on a long giraffe neck type's body, plus other characters you can play, have to deliver a pizza. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It is your typical case of get to the other side of the screen and beat the level, but this was actually rather fun. Sometimes easy, sometimes has its challenges, but overall it was an easy experience. Now achievement wise, there's literally nothing else to do apart from finish 13 levels and reach the 14th. So yes, we don't actually have to complete the game, just as long as we get to at least level 14, we will be as golden as them nuggy nerds. Now this video is, like I said, only about 20 minutes or so long, but sometimes you'll get lucky and unlucky with certain parts of the level, and I'll explain why in just a bit. So keep in, the, uh, keep in mind, this could take around an hour or so to do. I mean, it took me one hour and ten minutes to do, so uh, if you want a milestone to beat, there it is. Anyway, with that being said then, let's begin, and you can pick what in the hell you want. Uh, I just chose the big cheesy, cheesy, cheesy head at the beginning, and we will get through to the beginning. So we will get our first achievement already. You can uh, interact with um, all the characters, they just ba basically tell you what to do, but the only things we need to know what to do for now, you walk forward, and as you can see, his neck's going a bit, it's, it's going a bit nuts. Um, you press the B button to jump. So this neck uh, kind of gets annoying. With these sort of black sticky things here on the wall, you can uh, press the B button to jump into it and then jump up. So just keep on jumping, and that is pretty much all we need to know for now. The head, sometimes you can use the head to your advantage, and you can also not use the head to your advantage as well. After every level, um, you will come to this shop area if you want to buy HP and stuff like that. Comes in handy, of course. Um, I didn't actually bother throughout the entirety of the game, so that's all good. Now we can press the A button to pick up the pickaxe, click in the right stick, and it'll start swinging like an absolute beanbag. Um, or you can, yeah, so you can either just sort of walk into it, or you can just click in the right stick to use that. Um, jump up, get rid of this next brick wall, and then press the Y button to uh, drop it, so you don't actually accidentally hit any more bricks. As we go to the left on Pizza Street, that's very aptly named. Now, bearing in mind, you can't get hurt. Now, these... By the way, I'll just come back to that. You can actually jump up onto these little sort of green bricks and move yourself across. They will come in handy. But as I was going to say, your head can't actually get hurt by enemies or anything. It's your body. So if your body goes into certain enemies or whatever, that is when you'll die. But your head, don't worry about it. It's all good, apparently. And please deliver the pizza. We depend on you. Sorry, that was very um, st uh, stereotypical. I'm very, very, just, I'm sorry, Italians. Not all Italians uh, deliver pizzas, of course. Right, now what we need to do, when we can see this sort of sky finger, jump, press the X button, and then you can move yourself over. So you press the X, you press the B button to jump, then the X button, and then the B button to let yourself go. Um, and that sort of puts you into a better, a new area. So grab the pickaxe, and then just jump up here. Uh, you can't hurt the enemies, you just have to avoid them, which is no problems. Jump onto this moving platform, and you can jump... Well, you can either jump down or you can jump uh, up and go across. It's fine. I ended up just going down. You've got to watch yourself on the bits of red, which kind of just looks like the pizza sauce. Uh, they will kill you instantly, whereas the enemies, um, they won't kill you instantly, but you will lose a heart. So just, uh, bear in mind that one. So the bit of red there, just on the platform to the left, and the one coming up. Do not jump into the red, because that means instant death, and start the level again. Now, you can just drop the pickaxe here, we don't actually need it, or you can just, um, you know, be almost as silly as I was, uh, just while we keep jumping across. And this is what I mean about sometimes our head can get stuck on things, and under things, and over things as well, so... Especially in the later levels, we are going to have to position our head in such a way that we can uh, use it to our advantage. So, uh, again, you can buy something if you want, or we're just going to keep on going on to the next level. There we go. Come on then, cheesy bouts. Let's do this. Pizza go cook. Urr. Urr. There we go. So, I just leave the achievement unlock a little here. And then we can 
Go, go, go! Right, so, as you can see as well, the pizza icon and the sort of bottom right-hand corner, that is telling us where we need to go, by the way. So just in case you were wondering what that is, and the finger is a secret, I believe. No, it's not, sorry, because here's the secret, which you don't actually have to get the secrets if you don't want to. Um, ah, my head. Uh, but the hand is, I actually forget. So grab the sky, uh, the sort of one finger uh, type thing there. Rem now remember, you've got to pre press the B button to jump if you want to use it. Then press the X button. And then sort of swing yourself with some momentum with the uh, by releasing it with the B button again. So um, that one might just take a few a few tries to sort of get used to with the the fingers right there. But yeah, you'll get used to it. S speaking of getting used to things, yes, our head is uh, extremely fudged up right now, and uh, it does take a while. It does become easier. We get the dash ability in just a little bit, uh, which makes it a lot easier. Because then we don't have to keep doing whatever it is in the hell that I'm doing right now. Come in. Right. So we finally made it. So just be careful as you're going down there. As you can see, there's a bit of red. Which again, would kill you instantaneously. Deadness. Jump down. And again, try to avoid the old uh, devil. The old... Uh, looks like a moldy chicken ball or something, to be honest. Still delicious, though. And then just keep on climbing up. Keep pressing the B button, of course, to climb up. Jump down here. A couple of coins. Again, like I said, it's one of those that you can go either up or you can go down. There's a couple of ways to go. Uh, I just thought these were the better ways, to be honest. So now we can just jump down, ignore the enemies, and this is the end of this level. So yes, some may take a while, some may not. Um, there was only one that I really struggled with. I don't know why I really struggled with it, but I'll let you know when we come to it. So, as we just jump onto the next one here, it wasn't this one. Err, uh, doink. Uh, so, <laughs> we'll just wait until we've reached, le uh, so we've reached level 5. And away we go. So, ignore the moldy chicken ball. There we go. Jump down. And then just jump up and up. You can speak to the bird there underneath if you want, but you really don't have to. Don't go too far because you go straight down to death. Jump across, don't go too far again, trying to avoid the red bits. We can't go to the right and up, we have to go to the left and up. Which uh, is very good. So up a daisy. And up again. Right, try and be careful. Try not to focus too much on the head as well. Just notice where your legs are going as we go to the left and grab the sky finger thing right there. Um, but yeah, try not to focus on the head because that'll get you all out of whack. Right, as we jump up to the right here, just wait here. We don't actually have to go to the right. You've got to jump up on this platform. You may get hit. That's fine by these two. Don't worry about that. Now we're going to do the sky finger thing. So again, it's you've got to jump as quick as you can. And then press the B button to let go after you put yourself up. And then just do the same thing. Then quickly press the X button and then the B button to put yourself over to the right. Again, it may take... A couple of attempts, it did take me two or three attempts to get that one totally right. Especially with the placing and everything of the sky thing. Sky finger. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you'll get used to that. But again, if you do end up dying by the red things, of course, you've probably noticed by now. You will start at the beginning of the level, which is a pain in the old bunder snatch. So, can't go to the right, obviously. So, what we're going to have to do is just go to the left. Now be careful here, but this is where we get the ability to dash, so jump and then press the left bumper or right bumper, wherever you want to go. Uh, again, sometimes with our head, it might we may get caught, we may not, but just keep on jumping over to the left. Uh, you didn't have to use the dash ability as much. Grab the sky finger, and then just jump across again, jump across again, give yourself a dash if you feel like you need to, and then press the A button, of course, to pick up the pickaxe. Um, you can go up. I, oh, I actually got kind of lucky that one. You can go up to get a secret, but just jump down. Uh, make sure you dash as well if you want to be on the safe side right there, because I did get almost uh, kind of unlucky with that. And then, as we've seen, to the right, finish the level. Right, on to the next one, which should be, what, level 7 by now? And I was absolutely right, yes. So, level 7 out of 14. So we're already halfway there, unless you've already been frustrated by early levels, in which case, we're not almost there. So, pick up this box right here, and then just take it over to this contraption, which gives us a pickaxe. 
the end, press the right trigger if you want to go spinny spin spins. Jump over this little red pit of pizza tomato sauce death. Now, you can either go to the right and use the pickaxe to go all the way up. Or, if you are like me and you're stubborn enough, eventually you can get up through these tiny little sections right there. Um, but you have to keep the pickaxe and I think there's a, a secret or a coin or something behind there as well. So, make sure to dash over to the other side here. Again, press the left bumper. Jump up. And jump up again, avoid the old pizza death. And that is Murder She Wrote. Jump up to the left here. And you're going to speak to the bird. Thanks, I love your work. <laughs> Thanks. Are you going to pay me lots of money? Well, then get the hell out. <laughs> Just joking. There we go, and to the left, dropping down. That is the end of level 7. So now we are on to level 80 mo's. And I can't say that any... You know, any level gets really difficult. They all present their easinesses and their challenges, so you don't have to worry. And if you're struggling or something so far, it doesn't really get any harder. It just sort of stays about the same. So on to level eight, or man, these uh, SpongeBob, uh, Krusty Krab, Peters, uh, the Peters depths are devilly. Uh, but all we're doing is just heading to the right. Be careful on these little treadmill things right here. Jump on the platform when it's at the top. Grab the box. And, of course, we're going to have to wait for the platform to come back. Do, 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 pizza. Be, 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 Christy, grab pizza. Right, over to the left here. Now we grab the pickaxe. Now we can go back to the right. Use your right... Tr click in your right trigger there to whap yourself straight up. And you can just jump on lovely. Ignoring the old weird cat thing. Remember to jump over here. And just do the same thing. So jump. If you want to use your dash ability, of course. Be careful not to jump straight down with the pickaxe in hand. Because you'll be going straight down. You'll have to find your way back up. And then we can just jump up. And from here, it is pretty much easy peasy lemon squoozy. Get the sky finger. We don't actually need it because the end of the level is right here. There we go. When we've done that, now we can just move all the way to the right again. And we're going to start another level. Level 9. So let's do it, baby. Right, now, what you're going to see... This is the one I really struggled with for some reason. And you'll probably look at it and go, why? It's easy. But what you're going to see is these little frozen ice blocks with a snowflake on them. Um, you can't get hurt by them, but you can actually fall through them. And you've got the little temperature thing there. So the more you touch, obviously the colder it gets and the more you die. So just be careful. Don't fall through the blocks of snowflake ice. Now from here, if you do get stuck, you can use your dash ability there to um, unstick yourself. But as we head up, make sure to dash yourself and don't go too far. It's very easy to slip off there. Uh, but just jump up and then head over to the right. You might hit yourself a couple of times. Just don't panic because uh, you've got more than enough temperature there to, you know, not die. Um... Now again, when if you're in a situation like this with <laughs> with your stupid head, just try and walk forward and backwards a couple of times just to get his head to the side. And then jump up all the way to the top, get in past the old moldy chicken ball. Right, drop down here, pick up this box, and then drop down and then go to the right. So make sure to go that, otherwise you'll fall straight through. And you don't want to do that because that is a pain in the butt. Now jump back to the left, go over the multi chicken nugget, dash over to the other side again, trying to fall down. Jump up and we can now grab our pickaxe. When we drop down here, go to the slight left. So drop down and then go slightly left. There we go, otherwise you'll be falling straight down. Dash yourself over to the other side and that one is complete. But for some reason, really struggle with that level. Took me at least 15 minutes to do it. Why? I do not know. How? I cannot tell you. I am just a pizza. Hmm. I'm not feeling Homer simpson -y. Could do with a nice pizza and a, a goddamn buffet of chicken wings. <clears throat> uh, yeah, right, anyway. So we are on to the next level now. Level 10. Right, what we can do, dash yourself over. Ignore moldy chicken ball. And we can just slightly jump over to the platforms once again. And again, dash yourself if you're stuck. But grab the sky finger. And, again, it can be a bit of a pain to get up here, but uh, this is kind of a linear path, this one. But now we've got these laser beams to worry about. So just jump over, jump over again, and then what you have to do is use the sky finger here. So remember, it's the X button and then the B button to let yourself go. Jump up. Jump up here. Press the X button. And then press the B button again. 
If it doesn't work, that's fine. You should have another one left to go. But usually you should, if you put your head over to the left or right, uh, you'll be able to get that one easier. Don't worry if you get hit once by the laser. Uh, we are almost to the end of the level. Dash yourself over and then we can go to the up and to the left. Right, just be careful here then. As soon as that one goes, I did hurt myself, which is fine. Again, don't worry if your head gets hit. It's not about your head, it's about your body. Wait until they're all done and dash yourself over. Dash hunt, yeah. It's bountiful and beautiful and bountiful. So, here we go then. Getting through it. Tastier than a McChicken sandwich meal from McDonald's. And man, that shit is tasty. And there we go, another rare achievement unlocked. I assume that won't be as rare uh, when the game comes out. Uh, but anyway, we've reached level 11. So, when it's done, what we can do is obviously just wait until the lasers pierce off and disintegrate. And now we can go grab the sky finger there. This one may take a few tries. I got lucky, I think, with my first one. Uh, but you just have to wait until everything at the top there, so the mouldy chicken ball goes off. Get the sky finger out. I do get hit by the laser, which is fine. But you can just, as soon as you get that first sky finger out of the way, you can now just drop down and come to the right here. Uh, jump up. Now, just keep jumping up. I tried to go over to the left and it wasn't working, but you should be able to jump up and give yourself just enough momentum to climb up. And there you go. You can head to the left. Right. Just wait until the, obviously, the slow ones go and the fast ones gone. Uh, you should be able to get through that with no issues. Dash. Uh, dash yourself over if you're having a few troubles. Jump over, ignore the old delicious pizza sauce. Gotta stick my head in that. Wouldn't care if I died instantly. And then just jump over to the right. Now we can head all the way down. Now we're going to be using a bit of sky fingering. Now I think the sky finger stuff is unlimited here. Um, because I used about six or seven. And it seemed to work. So if you can, get yourself just over onto one of the left platforms. Or the left, yeah, sort of the left platform. Then... Press the B button to jump, X button to sky finger, and then just keep going up and up and up. Again, grab the coins if you so wish, but the only thing we're grabbing is the deliciousness that is the pickaxe. There it is, pick it up with the A button, and we can just jump straight down to end the level. See? Nita, nota, nata, problem le. Nita, nata, nita, problem. Okay. On to level... Da, 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 da. 12, I want to say. Yes, on to level 12. So we've got 12 and 13. So two levels left to go. Now, this one, um, for some reason, I actually found them easier than some of the ones of the rest of the game, in all fairness. But it's just a lot of platform hopping. So wait until the lasers are finished. Then you can nip over. Sometimes you might get your head stuck. Um, but that's fine. Jump to the right. We don't need to go to the left. So we can jump up. Grab the pickaxe. And then jump right again. Jump left here. And keep swinging them as we go and smash the walls out. Right, don't jump down. We are going to jump up onto this platform. Keep in the pickaxe. Hit the brick wall. Now drop the pickaxe. Very important to drop the pickaxe here. And then just climb onto the next platform. Because we've got a brick wall that we need to climb up on. See? I told you I wouldn't stay around now, bruh. Right, jump up, jump over. Just wait for a second, or if you're quick enough, you can actually jump up on him. And the same goes here. If you're quick enough, jump up here. Uh, this little platform thing goes in uh, the same route all the time, so don't panic about that. Jump off. Now, this is where I got a bit stuck sometimes. You need to get your head over to the left-hand side. If your head's fallen to the right, you'll just fall down and you won't make it. So make sure your head's over to the left before jumping on the platform. If you fall down, there is a sky finger that you can use to get yourself back up. And um, up to the end of the level. So don't worry if you miss the platform. There is a little sky finger that you can use to whack yourself up. And then life will be dandy as Andy. Andy's toy. Right, level 13 we have reached. So this is now the final one um, before we get all the achievements. So let's do it as time, honey. Right, use the pickaxe there, jump onto the platform, try not to miss it because it will be instantaneous death. Slam the pickaxes, jump to the other side. Now, I just um, stay on these slow platforms because what we need to do is jump on the ones above. So keep jumping on the slow platforms and just jump up here. You can go to the ones on the right if you find it easier to be a bit quicker. I just found it easier to stay on the left. Now here, with this 
um, conveyor belt thing, you need to get your head uh, basically straight up. So as you move in and you start running, you need to keep your head straight. So you need to sort of position yourself in such a way that your head is straight uh, so you can jump and your head can go all the way over to the left. Obviously, if you end up missing it, you may uh, stop and die. Oh, see, boys. Oh, so I just, just got away with that one. Head past the laser here. Jump up. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Jump, jump, jump. Excuse me, I jumped too much. Right. Uh, I think we're basically done now. Yeah, we are done. All we got to do is just go over to the right, end the level, and that is the end of the game. So, well... You can do this last level if you want. I ended up not doing it because I couldn't be asked, in all fairness. Sorry. Uh, but there we go. That is the end of Why Pizza. Why? Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope it wasn't too frustrating. Uh, but I do hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share with a friend as well. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Big massive shout out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. And there we go then, guys and gals. So... With that one done, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye-bye, big love.